Hey, good morning everyone. Welcome to Simply Scripture. Today I'm going to be reading from the New King James Translation. And in this video I'm going to be reading the book of Romans chapter 10. Before I get started, I want to say a little prayer. Dear God, I come to you today. I just want to thank you for all you do, Lord. Thank you for waking me up today. Thank you for every beat of my heart, Lord. Lord, I just pray that you forgive me of my sins. And help me today to not sin against you, Lord. Give me the strength and encouragement. And make my will your will, Lord. Lord, I just pray that you help me to be less of me and more of you today. I pray that you show me the way. God, I just pray for anyone that might be listening that doesn't know you, Lord, that you just touch their heart and draw them into the fold. Give them eyes to see and ears to hear, Lord. Lord, I thank you for your word and your guidance. And Lord, I just pray that you prepare all of your people for whatever may be coming, Lord. Dear God, I love you so much, and I thank you for the life you've gave me. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All righty. Romans chapter 10. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they may be saved. For I bear them witness that they have a zeal for God, but not according to knowledge. For they being ignorant of God's righteousness and seeking to establish their own righteousness have not submitted to the righteousness of God. For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone who believes. For Moses writes about the righteousness which is of the law. The man who does these, those things shall live by them. But the righteousness of faith speaks in this way. Do not say in your heart, who will ascend into heaven? That is, to bring Christ down from above. Or, who will descend into the abyss? That is, to bring Christ up from the dead. But what does it say? The word is near you, in your mouth, and in your heart. That is, the word of faith which we preach. That if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in him, I'm sorry, that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believed, believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture says, whoever believes on him will not be put to shame. For there is no distinction between Jew and Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich to all who call upon him. For, ever, for whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who preach the gospel of peace, who bring glad tidings of good things. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah says, Lord, who has believed, in, who has believed our report? So then, faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. But I say, have they not heard? Yes, indeed, their sound has gone out to all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. But I say, did Israel not know? First, Moses says, I will provoke you to jealousy by the, those who are not a nation. I will move you to anger by a foolish nation. But Isaiah is very bold and says, I was found by those who did not seek me. I was made manifest to those who did not ask for me. But Israel, he said, but to Israel he says, 
all day long and have stretched out my hands to a disobedient and contrary people. God bless you all. I really appreciate you listening. And um, check out my YouTube shorts for some um, some memory verses maybe that can help you through your day. God bless you. And uh, we'll see you all tomorrow.